Second Sunday in Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. Today we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday. The painting of Jesus' divine mercy was painted by the Polish artist Eugene Kazamorowski. He painted it after Sister Faustina told him how Jesus looked to her when Jesus appeared to her in a vision she received. Highlighting divine mercy, today's psalm states, His mercy endures forever. The Hebrew word that is translated by the word mercy is chasdao. Chasdao is based on the Hebrew root chesed. Chesed is sometimes translated as steadfast love, or love that is true, that is enduring. And it is a very important word for understanding how the Bible describes God's love. Hosea, the prophet of God's love, describes God's love as unwavering, consistent, and therefore true, since no matter how much Israel sins and breaks its marital relationship with God, God still loves Israel. God still remains true to his love. God is steadfast in his love. God's love is chesed. Jesus dying on the cross is the ultimate image of God's true, steadfast love. For on the cross, Jesus transformed his pain into two rivers of mercy flowing from his pierced side, as depicted in the Divine Mercy statue in El Salvador City in the Philippines. On the cross, despite being spat upon, despite being scourged, despite being insulted and seeing his mother and his disciples similarly treated with great disrespect, Jesus remains true to love by crying out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. When we are insulted, when we are disrespected, do we love with true, steadfast love as Jesus did when dying on the cross? When we love and then are hurt by those we love, when those we love do not love us back and instead seek to hurt us and hurt those we love, do we love with the steadfast, true love as Jesus does on the cross? Today, may we say yes to the steadfast, true love of Jesus. Today on Divine Mercy Sunday, may we lo love more through the sacred, merciful heart of Jesus, for God's name, as Pope Francis affirms, is mercy. In describing God's loving mercy, Hosea uses another word that is also translated as mercy, rachamim. The Hebrew word rachamim is based on the Hebrew word, word rechem, meaning womb. Being merciful literally means being a womb-like person, being a person who upholds a person in life-affirming water. The painting depicts Jesus suspended in the life-affirming water within Mary's womb. Being merciful, in the way rachamim implies, means being Marian. Being protected of those we love, means feeding and nourishing those we love, means taking care of those we love as we take care of our own bodies because the person we love is in some way part of our body, in a similar way that a baby is part of his mother's body. May we remember that by our baptism, by our birth through the baptismal waters, our mother, the church, has interconnected each one of us by incorporating us in the one mystical body of Jesus Christ. As members of Jesus' mystical body, the church we are to love in a particular way, we are to love by always seeing my brother and sister as an extension of myself, since we are called to think more and more with the mind of Jesus and to love more and more with the sacred heart of Jesus. This means, as members of Jesus' mystical body, we are to decrease independent, autonomous, selfish forms of love, and instead increase independent, interconnected forms of love shaped by the truth of Jesus Christ. Understanding God's mercy as womb-like helps us to acknowledge our love dependency on Jesus and our love dependency on the members of Jesus' body, as a baby in his mother's womb is utterly dependent on his mother. We are called, therefore, to let go of independent forms of love, to let go of selfish forms of love that do not take an account of other people, but rather insist upon loving whatever and however I desire. Reflecting on God, 
we also see that in a sense God's love is dependent, and not independent since God is triune. The Father's love is not independent love, but is informed by the eternal love of the Son, and out of their interdependent love springs forth eternally the gift of the Holy Spirit. God bless.